Hello, my name is Phil Easter, historian and writer from Baltimore, Maryland, also known as the Amazing Memory Man. We are recording tonight on Sunday, January 15th, 2023. Just a few weeks ago, the great television journalist Barbara Walters died on December 30th, 2022. She was the first major woman in American television history. Barbara Jill Walters was born on September 25th, 1929 in Boston, Massachusetts. But for most of her life, she lived in New York City. Indeed, with her family as she grew up there, and she went to a college called Sarah Lawrence College where she graduated in 1951. Shortly after that, she got a job with the local NBC station in New York City, uh, doing some type of writing assignment. But later she joined the NBC television network. And over time, she got to be on the Today Show, the first woman to be a reporter on the Today Show. And as time went on, she became one of the top reporters for that program. Later in the 1970s, she switched to ABC Network. And before too long, she became the co-anchor of the ABC Evening News with longtime reporter Harry Reasoner. She served in that position for several years, and then she became the top reporter for a new magazine show called 2020 on the ABC network. And throughout her television career, she did a number of specials and she became known as one of the best interviewers ever in television history. She interviewed not only American presidents over the years, but leaders of foreign countries, such as Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher of Great Britain, the first woman to ever be elected prime minister of that country and who holds the record for the longest premiership in British history. She served 11 years as prime minister, 1979 to 1990, including obviously the whole decade of the 80s. That's quite an extraordinary achievement. No other prime minister in British history, all those men who preceded her, ever served that long as prime minister. Even the great Sir Winston Churchill who was elected twice, uh, once for about a five-year period and the second time for another four years after he was out of office for several years. So, she, so Barbara Walters interviewed Margaret Thatcher and also controversial leaders like Fidel Castro of Cuba and Muammar Gaddafi of Libya. In the interview with Muammar Gaddafi, she asked the Libyan leader, Many people in America think you are mad. <laughs> she even said that to him. Of course, he had a translator. He did not speak English or not too much English. And he just laughed at that. But indeed, uh, Gaddafi was behind the terrible terrorist attack of December 21st, 1988, when an American airplane, Pan Am Flight 103, left London to come to the United States but not long after leaving London, while flying over the town of Lockerbie, Scotland, the plane blew up from a bomb that was put on board by Libyans working for Muammar Gaddafi, a terrible terrorist attack that killed over 200 people. Barbara Walters also interviewed famous celebrities like Michael Jackson and Elton John. So she is considered one of the best TV interviewers ever and is really a great pioneer for women in television. All these women today you see on the various networks, news reporters and some sports reporters and even many TV stations across the United States seem to have a lot of young ladies doing the weather. They, they like to hire young attractive ladies doing the weather portion of the news. But again, in any of these fields of the television journalism, they should be thankful to Barbara Walters 
the lady who paved the way for so many more women to enter television. Barbara died on December 30th, 2022. She was 93 years old. We honor and remember Barbara Walters. This is Phil Easter, the amazing memory man. We'll see you soon again for another story on another subject. Thank you and good night.